You are now watching a Lucky Penny Shop product feature. Item provided by Zuru for review. Hey, it's Lucky Penny Shop. Excited to check out this set from Zuru called the Shark Attack Challenge. And these are their micro boats. And thanks to Zuru for sending me this set plus some other boats to check out. They are little motorized speedboats. See, I got a yellow one up in the right corner there. Age is 3 plus. Water activated. 200 plus mile per hour scale speed. The feet to shark and speed to victory, which I will. And I will check it out here. Real boat crane included. 1.8 M of racetrack. We know that's about six feet. Huge shark attack challenge. So we're in the shark infested waters. And then there's some text on the right there. It says, get ready for some epic speedboat racing action. Launch your boats and watch them race in four directions. Spinning out in a 360 degree donut. Think you can speed faster than the shark can bite. Prove your need for speed. The race starts now. And it says collect all five. Really? There's five. Hmm. One, two. Well, one is up here. Here's two. Here's three. Here's four. And here's five. Now, I am not going to open these. One, two, three, four. I'm going to give these away. And if you don't know how Lucky Penny Shop give things, gives things away, then maybe watch a few more giveaway videos. It's pretty simple. I don't want to go into much more detail. So let me move these out of the way. These will not come out of the packages, but they are the individual boats. So you can put them in anything, a bowl, a bathtub, a pool, right? So when I come back, then I will have this out of the box. And, and then I'll set it up, and then we'll test it out. All right, the boat is out. Looks pretty cool. I didn't realize there's this little piece here. I'm not sure what... Oh, it's holding the back turning uh, uh, rudder. Is that a rudder? I think that's what it is. All right, either way, I make mistakes sometimes. More often than not, I don't know. Sometimes your mind thinks one thing, and then you say another. I've been in videos where I said, look at the green thing, and it's red, because I'm looking at something else and not really, whatever. Focusing, you know. Oh, wow. More pieces. Ooh, look at the shark. Okay, so I'm basically just unpacking this for you. I can see already these are going to go here. So I, as I see things, I might just put them together. I don't know. And then let's get out the rest of the track. Pretty cool. Okay, there's the instructions. All right, that's what I was working towards. Looks like we're going to have some water fun, huh? All right, here's the instruction booklet. Tips and tricks. Okay, so they're lettered. So this is C. Let's see if they tell us where the C is. Mm, looking, looking, looking. I guess I just got to know where C is. And based on the picture, it looks like this goes this way. The crane's going to go on here, okay, and then tracks. Now maybe these are like, okay, track A. So the picture says track A is on this outside turn, and then track B is here. So let's see, track A and B, how do these clip together? Aha, uh -huh. so it's going to be watertight. Looks like there's this sleeve or this groove here. And it fits in this groove. And then there's a lock on the bottom. I have to get, get used to it because it looks like there's also a rubber gasket in there. So that's what's going to create the watertight seal. Guess you got to get it just right. Oh, there we go. Okay, A to B. Doesn't look like the, the top piece is going in correctly. So I will check that. And then H is up top. H is one of these. Okay. And then this looks like it's going to go over here, going this way. All right. And then now, how's this all going to connect? Hmm. All right, here we go. And then they don't give you any other track. Okay, so one more is gonna go to this. And then one's gonna connect to that, which looks like this one here. So it's gonna go like that. And then this looks like the center one. The center one's different because 
it doesn't have the two seals this is just going to connect here another A to B okay oh I see there's a little clip here that's going to help bring this in and lock it in place aha I didn't see that on this one I was wondering why that's nice and then now that's the center this will go out here I'm just gonna keep going here it's kinda like a learning process this has got the double locks okay I guess that's really gonna help with that gasket in there I'll tell you what I'll do the finicky part after and I'll report back to you anything I run into but now I kinda get it this snaps in maybe I'll do one of these for you here I'll do this one I have a feeling it's just gonna be one of those things you gotta work it in get it just right put the clips on and then you're good all right that one's in same with this all right I'll come back then when I have this completely finalized and do the little stuff okay all right good I'll finish up and then I'll put the rest of the smaller pieces in and I will be back I want to make you aware too when you're pushing these together these little tabs actually help you can squeeze it and then lock that in if these aren't locked in you're gonna be in trouble so that kind of creates the seal and now I see why they designed it the way they designed it uh, this one's in okay this is the last one once you get it over the gasket and you lock the sides in it's hard when it's upside down actually this was actually easy this way you gotta get your fingers in there okay okay then I did this and that so now I'm checking everything same goes for these tracks look now this one's not done right so push it over and lock it in locked in okay everything's good now all right now this must be you have to really push it in I wasn't so there we go there's my crane and then they show this right here it's called the wave maker shark attack oh they show it the other way sorry wave maker like this okay and then these corners it looks like yeah I think I have that right it looks like it's kind of going closer to this edge this way okay I think that's it very cool now it looks like I get a cup pack includes deep sea dipper to fill and empty water from the place set all right looks like I'm gonna need a lot of water all right uh, batteries in each boat will last for an hour and a half very good to assemble the track and the tabs okay okay placing batteries I think that's it it's fill it with water So I will come back then with some water and I will fill this up and we will check it out. All right, I don't see anything about filling the water and how much to put in. So I guess it's just however much you feel you want to put in. I'm showing you, maybe I missed it, but I didn't see it. And then I'm gonna use a pitcher instead of this because this would take a while. I got a pitcher off to the side, so why not just pour it directly from the pitcher? Well, let's see, that's one, this way we know two three okay I don't need to count out loud do I well, it keeps me in check five six seven eight nine I bet you the boat will work now ten well let's just check out the boat now there's this reverse direction on it. it's that little tip if it hits something and then if I touch these two it should go on okay it takes a second to change in reverse all right so once it touches the water it should go around the track I'll keep adding water too yep there it goes 
Yeah, we put a little more in. It's bottoming out there. Sorry, boat. Can't make it up the incline. There we go. Okay, I lost track, but keep track. Count where I left off. It's struggling. Okay, that was a whole pitcher. I'm gonna go get a little more, so I will be right back. It looks like it just needs a little bit more water. Okay, so I won't know how many I put in until I edit, but I think we need a little bit more. I think we're close. Yeah, I think that's better now. It seems to struggle around the turns. Let me go up even more. Now, these were not all full, but close enough. Okay, I think we got it. This will be the last one. It's almost all the way up. There we go. There he goes, look at that. Pretty cool. Now let's just drop it down. He got caught. Let's see if we can catch him with the crane. All right, we're gonna catch him going this way. Ooh, he reversed on me. Tricky. Ooh, oh! He flipped. You're not gonna get away this time. Yeah, you got away this time. Nope, he reversed. Ooh, I need to come down lower. There, I got him. There he is. A boat out of water. Now let's just drop him. I'd love to put another one in, but I wanna give them away. Uh, it's killing me not to open up another one. I'll tell you what though. I'm gonna open up this one. And if I do give this one away, it's been used by me, so that can't be too bad. I don't like giving away open toys, but I think everybody wants to see two boats, right? And what happens? I will be careful with the packaging. Let me get my scissors. All right, here we go. Boat number two. Let's test it. It's raring to go. All right, the race is on. Oh yeah, he hit. Oh, cool. Look at that. I like sets like this. All right, so I'm just gonna let this run on its own. If you see me come in, I'll just be changing angles and stuff. But you can watch him go around now. That's the best run so far. Now they're both, oh, there, once they hit. Now let me see if I can get a little close up of the water, the fishtail coming out of here. Here, let me hold one of these, look. Shh. 
So can I control this a little bit more? If I move this this way, will it continue in a different circular path? Hmm. Good question. I'm sure it will. Tight squeeze. Yeah, see? I think you want this as straight as possible. Otherwise, he's going to... I bet you I can keep him in here just by doing that. Or right, close to it. Go forward. Go forward. Yeah, it's too tight of an area. Let's turn this this way. Okay, now it's straight. Let's check this one. It's straight. All right, go for it. It's race time. Here we go. Come on back. All right. Let's see. And they're off. Shh. Oh, he hit the tip. Those are really cool. I like little motorized toys. You probably know that already. I've done quite a few different motorized toys. Many ones like this. Boats too. I have a couple RC boats like this in miniature and then I have that submarine too. What videos? Hmm, I wonder. Alright, so I still have three more of these that are in the package. And thanks again to Zuru for letting me check these out. Ooh, there's a jam. Come on, work it out, boys. Work it out. Get along. And I don't want to keep telling you how to get stuff, but uh, look around. Search the Lucky Penny Shop giveaway. Free stuff. Look in descriptions. You'll see addresses and what to do. And people have gotten their items and posted videos already, and they said, this is so simple. I just sent him a letter. Now, not everybody gets something, and make sure you have that parental consent. It's very important. And if that's not included, sign and date if you're over 13, so 14 and above. Still sign it and date it. And thanks for watching, everybody. Hope you enjoyed the video. Later. If you're looking for the item you just saw in the video, click here. Watch more videos by clicking here. Don't forget to share on social media and give a thumbs up. Hey, LPS Dave. 
What's up, Butch? Make sure they don't forget to subscribe. Oh, yeah. Please click here to subscribe to Lucky Penny Shop. And always remember when you see a lucky penny, pick it up. Thanks for watching.